Hi, my name is Hilal Ganim, and I was a student at John Abbott College during the winter 2017 semester in the professional theater program. In this video, we will be showing you how to register for a course on your portal. Watching this video will be the first step in registering for your courses for the upcoming semester. Make sure to watch it all the way through as it will give you all the information you need to complete your online course registration. The course registration procedure is not complicated, but it can be time consuming if you're not prepared for it. To successfully register for a course, you will need a few items. A computer, a good internet connection, an appointment time, and a copy of the schedule of classes. How can you find out when your course registration appointment time is? It's fairly simple. Open your portal and click on the link Course Registration. Please note that you will only have 14 hours to complete your course registration from the moment it starts. What do you do if you don't know what courses to register for? Don't worry. You can check out your program requirements by looking at your progression chart on your portal. The progression chart will show you the general education courses. English, French, Humanities, Physical Education, as well as the complementary courses, and the concentration courses that you should take every semester to complete your program. How can you find out what classes are offered in a given semester? By downloading the Schedule of Classes document in the section Information Intended for You on your portal, you'll be able to find out all the courses available at John Abbott College in a particular semester. The schedule of classes will tell you three very important information. When the course is being taught, who is teaching the course, the section number related to a specific course. This number is what identifies the course, teacher, time combination. Each semester there are multiple sections of the same course being taught. Now that you have all your tools ready, I will walk you through the different course registration steps. First, log on to your portal and click on the link Course Registration on your allocated appointment date. Read the steps for a successful registration and click Continue at the bottom of the page. Depending on your program, you might have already been pre-registered in some courses. As you can see from my screen, I'm currently pre-registered in three courses, Calculus 1, Chemistry of Solutions, and Mechanics. I will now try to add a Humanities course. My progression chart told me that I could register for a 101 or 102 humanities course in my first semester. Use the course code found on your progression chart and type it in the box course number, then click add. The humanities course I am trying to register for has now been added to my course list and it has been highlighted in green because I am trying to register for it. To create a schedule you can use three methods. Try all which means you want to see all possible course schedule options. Multiple choices. This method will limit your possible course schedule options to include only a specific number of sections and or teachers you may have already predetermined by searching the schedule of classes. Section slash teacher. If you use this method, you are only interested in one particular section or teacher and you want to see if your selection fits with the courses you already have on your schedule. The decision to use one method over the other is all yours. However, it may be beneficial to use the try all method until you get really comfortable with the course registration module, as well as the schedule of classes. This way you are guaranteed to be presented with all possible schedule options. When you are ready, click on the box show all possible course schedules. As you can see from my screen, there are many possible schedule configurations. At this time, you need to go through the different schedules and decide which one is best for you. The decision to select one schedule over another is all yours. You might want to select a schedule for numerous reasons. The course topic, the teacher, the time and day of the course, needing a break between classes, having a day off, being with a friend, or any other reason. When you are ready to go ahead with a particular schedule, click on Select this schedule. You should note that you need to confirm your selection with your password to be officially registered into the course. Once you have completed this step, you will be given a transaction number. Keep your transaction number as it is the proof that you have accepted your schedule. Now that you have added a humanities course, you can refer back to your progression chart to decide the other classes you may want to add to your schedule. Keep in mind that we recommend you register for all your courses as defined by your progression chart. 
If you're having any problems with your online registration, don't worry, don't panic. Both the academic advising team and the registrar's office are available to help you with any of your issues. Make sure to contact them as soon as possible. You can contact the registrar's office or the academic advising team through email by using registration.help at johnabbott.qc.ca. You can also call the helpline at 514-457-6610 at extension number 5360 or 5363. Or you can come in person to the registrar's office at H128 or in student services in H148 for the academic advisors. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Don't forget to follow the academic advising team on Twitter at Jack Advising and to join the academic advising community on your portal.